Hey guys, I just wanted to uh, do a quick video and show you one of the items that I've been up to. I'm in the basement of our house and this is the furnace. This furnace is uh, what I figure about 10 or 11 years old. Anyway, it's uh, one of the older furnaces and uh, not one of the super efficient ones, but it has a pipe coming out this is the exhaust for the furnace and then it goes about uh, oh, 10 feet 12 feet and this pipe is uh, galvanized metal 5 inch diameter it goes into the old chimney and then there's an elbow on it right there and it goes up up the chimney 20 feet out the top of the roof so what happened was we uh, had a new roof put on and we had the chimney that existed outside the house removed down to the below the roof and had to kind of redo this pipe. But when I pulled this pipe out of here, you can't, you can't see it on the video, but there's an elbow right there and uh, the elbow was completely rusted out, which is fairly common with this galvanized steel pipe for a furnace exhaust from what I understand research I did on it and the and the elbow was completely gone so I had to redo this and then uh, I kind of did it in a rush because they were working on the roof and it was going to rain the next day and ran down to the hardware store and bought this new pipe and after I got it done it looks good and it's done right now but I uh, kind of regret going with the galvanized steel I wish I would have gone with aluminum pipe because aluminum won't rust but anyway this should last another five years or so before it rusts out again what happens is as that hot air comes through the pipe and it uh, cools down the farther it goes and then it meets the cold air outside it condenses on the inside of that pipe and then the the water runs down the side of the pipe and all ends up down here at the elbow and rusts the thing out. But uh, it's good to go for us now and I'll, uh, I'll run outside and show you a, a shot up on the roof. I don't know how well that'll show up on video, but that's kind of what I've been up to. This is a creepy little spot down here in the basement where, oh, like I said, it's 10 feet or so back there to that chimney from the uh, furnace itself where it comes in here so that's one of the things I've been up to and uh, kind of those crummy weird things that you don't really want to have to deal with but if you want to live and not get uh, carbon monoxide you definitely got to take this stuff into consideration and get it straightened out so I'll cut away and then we'll go outside I'll try to show you it's really really windy out there right now but I'll try to show you a shot of the the finished roof and the this pipe coming out the top here's the pipe that I pulled out of there and uh, this is aluminum pipe and you can see basically what's left of the elbow that used to be on there I threw part of it away but steel elbow galvanized into that that pipe there is aluminum which is what I wish I would have used. But anyway, live and learn. First time messing with this stuff, and uh, five years down the road, if it rusts out again, I'll have to do it again. Let's go look at the roof. All right, guys, I don't know how bad the wind noise is, but there's the roof. We had a metal roof put on the house. Should last the rest of my lifetime. But uh, anyway, there's the heater pipe coming out of the roof and there used to be a chimney there like similar to the one that's next door in that house next door had all that removed down to the roof level and then uh, ran the pipe out the top but it looks good it looks ten times better than it did uh, before but I just wanted to show you guys that hope everyone out there is doing good we're keeping busy trying to get this stuff done so we can enjoy uh, some re rest and relaxation here soon. 
So take care.